so a while ago I made a video about the Ben 10 Omnitrix toys. I kind of wanted to quickly go over the other toys that were made, but I decided to make that video exclusively about the watches. Now, the watches are the quintessential Ben 10 toys. I really can't understand why anyone would buy Ben 10 toys that weren't watches. You see, when I was a kid, I didn't watch Ben 10 Ultimate Alien and think, man, I really want an Ultimate Wild Mud action figure. I never wanted any alien figures when I was younger, and I have to assume other kids were like this as well. We wanted to pretend we were Ben Tennyson, not own figures of him. If you had the watch, you could roleplay. What were you going to do with the Swampfire action figure? Try to reenact scenes from the show? Pin him against your other toys like your Mario plush and Lego Minecraft Steve? Or perhaps ruin your little sister's fun by pretending to burn all her My Little Pony toys? Probably. Although kids are going to have fun with any toys they have, I still stand by the fact that having the toy Omnitrices is better. Anyway, with that out of the way, I think I'll just talk about some of the toys. So you have these standard alien figures across all the shows, but then you'll have weird ones like these DNA alien heroes. Swamp fire. Quick, get some Kool-Aid powder and water to make Swampfire's hand ejaculate. We gave him a gross see-through chest so you can see the muscles he uses when he opens his mouth. Bruh. Chromastone. Chromastone's cool. But why did you give him and Swampfire rideable pets? Those weren't in the show. I can maybe understand that's a creature on Swampfire's planet, but Chromastone is a one-of-a-kind alien created by the Petrosapiens. If their planet was destroyed, Chromastone would act as a backup drive to bring everything back. With this in mind, does it make sense for him to have an alien pet? Minifigures. These things are whatever, honestly. But these Omniverse ones make me want to cry. Please kill me. This passes for a toy in the future? The Alien Creation Chamber. This is an abomination. Rip apart regular alien figures so you can interchange their parts. If you had this when you were a kid, you were no better than Sid from Toy Story. I just can't see why anyone would go, I want Jet Ray's head on Humongousaur's body! Ben 10 Metamorphic Figures Jeez, this is a bit barbaric. Mangle Heat Blast and Grey Matter to use them as a flashlight and pair of binoculars. Wildmutt got off easy. He just holds onto your door handle. No mangling necessary. We also have the Car Crashers. Kevin's Cruiser supercharges into action and explodes on impact. Hey! What did you do to my car? Most of these toys are pretty lame. They aren't even of the highest quality either. That makes sense since these are aimed at kids. Some of the best figures I have are the Bondi D Arts Mega Man figures. What's cool about them is how expressive they can be. They have multiple points of articulation and have swappable parts, like faces, hands, etc. I made tons of stop motions with these Mega Man figures when I was younger, and so did other people. That's my metric for determining if an action figure is good. If it can be used for stop motion animations, then it's a good figure. Is this a good figure? I mean, sort of? He can at least bend his arms and legs, but he's restricted to moving them up and down. That's pretty major, as he can't do any elaborate poses as a result. Since Bondi is the one making all these Ben 10 toys, they should have made some D-Arts versions of Ben 10 characters. That would probably be the only time I'd want an action figure of Ben Tennyson specifically. There are definitely a lot of other weird Ben 10 toys out there, but I just wanted to go over a few.